Hey guys, this is Manindra and welcome to your another tutorial on Smack Streams. And in this video, we're going to take a look at new app that has been released by Microsoft. So they have released a Kali Linux app that can be that we can use Kali Linux from just like an app. Just we have to install it and you can run whole Kali Linux in an app in Windows 10. And the minimum requirement for this is we have to be 16 uh, 16,000 to 15.0 build higher that has to be Windows 10 and it has to be 64 bit so let me uh, the way they launched is only command line amp we cannot get anything from that for example uh, we, we cannot get uh, any command, uh, graphical interface all the thing is on command line so because that is why it's only 133 MB maybe it can be it, the size will increase once you get into that so let me open fire up my powershell with our administrator lights so after installing downloading and installing app so here you can see that it has been downloaded and installed you can run as Kali and before that you have to run this script uh, before then you uh, uh, before in installing Kali Linux you have to run a script which can be like this wait So this is the script so you have to run this in a pure powershell with administrator rights you can also do this from control panel but this would be much better just fire up your uh, what is that powershell and run the script that will help you to uh, that will enable your operating system to install Kali Linux without that you cannot install that so anyway the just fired up mine so first you have to install wget so I have already installed that but uh, after that you have to run uh, download a file and all the links will be uh, provided in the description it is a shell file so it will uh, after it, it will help you to okay I have already downloaded that but uh, you can uh, always download with the same URL once it's downloaded uh, you have to run the script so to run the script this is the command you have to use sh uh, x sorry so so i have already on the administrative privileges so they didn't ask me for the password but if you have when been on administrative privileges it will ask you for operation so the thing is it has around 1000 1.1 gb required for complete download you have to do that so after that i'll be it's just i'll pause the video for a while and you will be getting the further tutorial later so we have just completed that one after downloading running that file the 1gb has been downloaded so just using this default parameters so that's it so this is how we downloaded and it is asking for language to set up and something is happening let's that happen So it's done completely and now we have to do this one so let me clear up my terminal first so the so it should start some remote connection
okay. Let me open up. Remote. So now the okay we don't need this one. Add options. In the port, what is the port? Double three nine zero. That's where it's coming. Don't ask me again for this computer. So here is the thing, it has come up with that. So now you have to type out the username and password. Yeah, use default configurations. So this is how you will get Kali Linux. But if you have, you don't, you, you really don't have much more m many application that comes with the uh, things. So. So these are the things like for example if config okay this is also not done so sudo sudo if config whatever cat let me try this one So it is Kali G and you rolling. So there are so many features that still needs to be updated. I think we will be getting this from the updates. So let's see. This is how you can install Kali in Windows as per latest version. That's it, guys. This is Manindra Simhadri signing off. Until then, see you. We'll see you in the next video. Here we go. Yeah.